Oh my god, I've got a new job! I can't believe it! I've just come out of my interview and I've left with an offer letter. Ah, I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Oh my god, my cheeks hurt. I've just been smiling so much for like the last hour and a half of my interview, <laughs> which is crazy. But as even as I was driving today, I was mm, like 10 times more excited than I was nervous. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I am leaving my current job. They, my new job wants me to start next week. So I have to go home and write my resignation letter from the ambulance service. Um, if you've been following me, you'll know that I didn't actually start there very long ago. I started on the 4th of September. It's now the something, 8th of November. So not very long at all. But it's enough time for me to realise and acknowledge that it's not the job that I want to do. It's not for me. I've been struggling quite a bit. Not that I can't do the job, just various other things. And it it really is just, it's not the job for me. Um, so for the past couple of weeks, I've been sending out um, applications. And I actually had three interviews lined up this week. And today's the first one. And this is the one that I actually wanted. Um, it's the building right next door to the ambulance station. So on my night shifts, I've been like, oh, that, that building's cool. They do, they make, well part of what they do is they make flight simulators so for um, aeroplanes and I got to see the production floor today and that was really cool and they've got a training centre with all of the um, simulators which is what I see during my night shifts because they've got them all in the windows which is really I just I cannot wait this I think is gonna be really good for me and I am so excited and I have the utmost respect don't get me wrong and admiration for anybody who's working in the NHS or in the ambulance service because it is not easy. It is so difficult and I appreciate it so, so greatly that there are people that can do it and will do it but I selfishly I can't do it. Um, so yeah I have made the decision to leave and I've got a new job. I'm so excited. I literally I've said that before, I literally cannot wait. Anyway, I am going to go home. I've got to write my resignation letter and I'm going to send it to my dad to have a little read because I've never actually had to resign from anything before, um, which is interesting. But yeah, I, I cannot wait. <laughs> I also have a headache and my jaw hurts from smiling and probably my head hurts from smiling too. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to go inside, I'm going to chill, write my resignation letter, get some lunch and yeah just relax I've got hopefully assuming they accept my resignation I have four shifts left with the ambulance service in theory now so we'll see hopefully I can do those without too much without too much fuss but yeah I might go into a bit more detail at some point about why it's why I've been struggling and why it's so hard and why I'm ready to leave and what made the things the factors that went into it that made me decide this but yeah I will also talk a bit through more about my application process and things like that making my CV but yeah I'm so excited I cannot wait that's just a little update and yeah I'm gonna go and take some paracetamol because my head hurts just realized I didn't actually tell you what I'm going to do so I have got a job as a HR administrator and um, so for those of you who kind of don't know I graduated with a degree in human resource management with psychology um, in July so I'm a recent graduate um, and yeah I was trying to almost like beat myself back that I don't want to do HR I want to do these awesome other jobs but really HR is is where my heart lies and it's time that I accepted that and I I am looking forward to it. It is something that I will enjoy. I am fairly certain it is something that I will enjoy from my university courses, from my um, placement year. I know that it is going to be something that I can develop in, I can evolve, I can progress and it, oh, there are so many different things you can do with it, so many different companies you can work for and there, there's a lot of different avenues in it kind of from uh, HR generalist, recruitment, learning and development, and director, consultants, loads of different things. So I'm really excited for the opportunities that it may bring in the future. And this is the start of my career and it's the start of my career. 
and I can see myself doing HR for the long run. So, uh, oh, <laughs> say again, I can't wait. Anyway, gonna go home now. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye. Good morning, guys. I think it's still morning. Is it still morning? I don't know. It is. It is still morning. It is the next day. I have just showered and dried my hair. Um, I am starting my last run of shifts for the ambulance service today. I am working four o'clock in the afternoon till two o'clock in the morning for the next four days, and that's it. Um, so I, I'm just so relieved. Um, yeah, I will go into more detail soon, but I am very excited <laughs> to start my new job, which I have signed my contract. I have signed my um, offer letter, sent that all back, and handed in and had my resignation accepted. So things are moving and I am excited. I'm a little bit sad to kind of leave the trainees. I don't want to, I don't really want to tell them, but I know this is what I need to do. Um, so I'm being a little bit selfish and I'm excited. I, I'm so, so excited in case you didn't get that enough yesterday, but I'm going to try and take a kind of a positive mindset for the next couple of days and see how many people I can kind of use my training, how many people I can help over these next couple of shifts. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to excited to go, scared to do the shifts, which is <laughs> one of the reasons I'm, I'm happy to leave, but I will miss the people that I work with because they are all awesome and they are doing an amazing job and they will do an amazing job, but I know when I've accepted, it's not for me. Anyway, so I am making some lunch. I've got some, and all the dirty dishes, I've got some new potatoes cooking. I'm going to cook them up a bit and then I'm going to fry them. And my mum and dad went to, oh, terrible lighting. My mum and dad went to Tenerife a couple of weeks ago and they bought me back some moho sauce. So I'm gonna eat, I've got a chicken Kiev left. I'm gonna have chicken Kiev, some peas, some, sweet, um, some new potatoes and some moho sauce. And I am very excited about it. <laughs> Um, basically, I'm quite excited about lots of things at the moment. Um, it is the 9th of November, which means it's getting closer to Christmas. I've got the first week of November, no, not the first week, first week of December off. Um, my mum is coming and we're doing lots of Christmassy things. We're meeting up with my other sister and I'm really excited to just spend a week and my new company has said that's fine. I've got that week off. Oh, I am looking forward to what's coming. I'm hoping it's going to be better for me and I'm going to feel better about it. So anyway, going to get finish get my lunch ready. I'm watching Modern Family, which I got into the other day and I'm enjoying it immensely. That's to say there are good moments and there are bad moments, but it's it's mostly hilarious. Um, so yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm going to have eat my lunch and then I'm going to have a nap for a bit because I have to be awake till two o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, it's it's all good. And I am, I'm so excited for what's coming. So thank you for following along so far. Sorry, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. It's not been very long with the ambulance service. And I will, I will go into a bit more detail a little bit later on my feelings and why I decided to leave and things like that. But it's all good. They're amazing. It's just not for me. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.